Andre Huey and I'm here at the Westline bus terminal where I had the chance to speak to some of the bus drivers here to get their views on the recent concessions announced by Prime Minister Dr. Tony Harris for bus drivers. Now that concession essentially was $400 uh, fuel subsidy for bus drivers as well as a uh, concession on importation of tires and brake pads for their buses. But as we spoke to Mr. Webster, the president of the Westline Bus Association, these measures are inadequate to meet the needs and concerns of bus drivers. We have written to the government since last year, June, concerning the concessions that was taken away from us for about over 10 years now. The, the concessions were on the desk of the, the, the Minister for, for, for the Transportation Board for nine months. Only in March, when we had a meeting with the Minister, they were forwarded, they were forwarded to the Ministry of Finance. So they was at the Ministry of Finance since March. This is now July. While we are grateful for some of the can for, for some of the concession to be reintroduced, we feel, however, that we it is not adequate. For instance, we have concessions, but not an engine and body parts. But engine and body parts concessions, navies have that. Why are we not given the same concessions at Nevis, at, for Nevis? But when we ask, they say, oh, Nevis this and oh, Nevis that. According to Mr. Webster, bus drivers only got two of the concessions they requested of government since earlier this year. He said instead of a $400 fuel subsidy per month, which he stressed was inadequate, they had asked for $1,000, which amounts to $50 per day for five days a week. While again we are grateful for something, the $400 is way off. We spend $120 to $150 a day in gasoline a day. And if you work out $400 for a month, is like 28, 25 or somewhere around here a day. So I am saying that, well, what should have happened? We should have been given the $1,000 across the board. And a lot of the guys who this should affect, it, it would not affect because, for instance, we have guys who are, who are working and driving for people. Those would not be eligible for anything. So how is it that you, 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 you say you introduce these things and we are still having difficulties when we call as to guidance as to how we're supposed to, to get um, these things. Meanwhile, SK Newsline asked Mr. Webster how the bus drivers have been coping with the new capacity of 10 passengers as per the new COVID-19 measures. My capacity is 15 people. We are coping with the 10 because we understand that we have a community spread, so we are not trying to be unreasonable. But, the, but we were already struggling even before the 10. Even when we were running at full capacity, we were having health and the devil to make something comfortable because keep in mind that a lot of people is not working. So we have at least maybe half the country out of work. So there's not much, not many people to commute. So that is the situation. What are you hoping now for government to do to sort of meet the bus drivers have? First of all, government needs to do the right thing. What is the right thing? You can't have people in Nevis or bus drivers in Nevis getting more concession than us. Um, the prices are much higher than ours. They are very comfortable. Another bus driver present agreed with Mr. Webster. And I agree with Rambo what he says. You know, we're trying to, you know, put input. Certain situation with the bus, we need more clients to come in and say certain more things about what Rambo just said. Okay? So it's a good idea if they could step up with the $1,000 for the bus man. Coming to you from Westline Bus Terminal in Bastyr, I'm Andre Huey reporting for SKN Newsline.